Are you ready? Good, let's go. Hey, welcome to another workout with Fitness with PJ. So today is TRX Dumbbell Hit Workout. Whew, that's a lot to say in one breath. So you're gonna need a TRX, sorry to be Captain Obvious, and one moderate size dumbbell. So I'm using an eight. You're gonna be doing some presses above the shoulder as well as in front of you. So you want a weight you can handle on that as well as maintain four. Yes, yes. All right, as usual, I'm gonna warm you up, work you out, cool you down. I have 45 seconds on the timer when we get going, but first we need to get your body ready for exercise. So let's warm up. Feet apart, give me some big arm circles here. Make them really big. You want to exaggerate this and you want to go backwards with the movement. I want you warm and pressing those arms behind you. Awesome. I love the TRX and if you are watching this and doing this with me, I am guessing so do you. Now this workout, we are going to move through the TRX quickly, so if you're new to the TRX, make sure you head to their website to take a look on tutorials for beginners and how to lengthen and shorten as well as put it into a single-handed mode. So I'm just going to get into the workout. Here we go, open and close. Arms are straight, working and getting a stretch into the upper back and the chest with each time you're extending those arms. Having a hard time speaking today. <laughs> oh, this should be an interesting film. Here we go. Last four. <laughs> Three, two, one more. Excellent. Now reach the arms out for me. Reach them really long, fingertips apart, and squat rearward, and then lift up off the heels. Do it again. Down. Remember your squat pattern. If you've done these with me in the past or my workouts in the past, I cue you to hinge through that hip joint so that you keep that spine neutral. I ask you to keep the head up, shoulder blades pulled back. Pretend I'm filming you for YouTube and you gotta make it look good. Last three, two, and one. All right, now little hops, little hops. Hey, if you don't like hopping, no worries. You can march it on the spot. Little hops. Just warming up further into the lower limbs here. Pretend you got a skipping rope. Ten more seconds. And release. Let's take a step out side squat. All right, so take out squat, step out to the side, feet together, now the other direction. Warming up into lateral hip now. Remember when you're doing these step outside squats, you're going wider than your body. So you want your toes slightly turned out so that the knees and your toes track in the same direction. Same thing happening though, hip hinge, head up, chest lifted. One more each side. Last time. Perfect. All right. Woo. I'm actually already winded. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be one of those workouts. Even trainers have them. Okay, you're going to do a TRX pull-up to press. So we want it in pull-up, um, shortened position, and single-handed mode. Alternatively, you can hold on to both handles. If you've got quite big hands, I, I don't, so it's quite fatiguing. So single-handed mode. And then when you get into single-handed mode, give it a pull. Yeah, I don't want it coming undone on you. Grab your dumbbell. It should be interesting doing all this and then turning my timer on. All right, this is what the exercise looks like. We're gonna go into one arm pull up, so fantastic for working into the lat muscles, shoulder muscles, arm muscles, and then we're single handed, so we've got core involved. And as we pull up, now we're gonna get the other arm involved for press. Here we go, we're pressing. All right, get yourself set up. We've got 45 seconds on the timer. And go, pull. Here we go. Now when I pull myself up, I'm rotating my palm so it's facing me, and then I rotate it back so it's facing away. As I said, you're working a ton of muscles here. I love this move. If you find that it's too hard, walk further back. That's the beauty of the TRX. You can adjust your intensity even by a little bit, even by an inch, you're gonna change the intensity of the movement. 
And you can change, change it mid wrap. Hack. I don't want you losing form. Pressing up. Time. All right, now we've got a 15 second break, so there'll be some awkward pauses as we get ourselves set up, but there'll be other movements where we'll need those 15 seconds to get set up. So, straighten the arm, get that hand up to the shoulder for me, palm down, now drive yourself up and drive the dumbbell away from you. As you're doing this, try not to let that shoulder round forward, okay? Or roll forward would be a better way of telling you. Now, when the timer goes, we're going to go into some lunges with some hops near the end if we can. And then we come back here. We have two rounds, two moves. Oh, can you feel your core fired up? Oh my goodness, your obliques are on fire right now. This is good stuff. One more, one more, one more time. All right, no dumbbell. Okay, you can hold on to your single handed with both hands. From this position, you're gonna take leg up and you're gonna give me a straight back lunge. Just pick any leg, I don't care. We're gonna do both legs. Come back and then knee up. Good, come back, excellent. Come back, so you're stretching that leg out. Last 10 seconds, we're gonna add hops to this. Are you able to get that back knee all the way to your mat? Now I want you to pay attention to that front knee. It's lined up with the ankle, tracking straight ahead with the second toe here. Nothing happening, here we go, knee up. Good, give me that hop, up. Give me that hop, up. Up. One more, one more. Up. Whew. All right, other side. Start the knee up. Get yourself lined up. Core engaged. You've got those abs fired up. And stepping back. Go. Drive the knee up. Get that leg behind you. Same thing, Q in here, all right? Front knee lined up with that ankle, tracking straight ahead, driving that knee up, going as fast as you can while still maintaining that form. A couple more here, we're gonna do that hop. Ready? Here we go, hop it out. Up for the last 10 seconds. Grab your dumbbell, get yourself set up for pull up. Feet apart, square your hips, don't let that hip drop. Use that core there, baby. Here we go. You're driving yourself up, pushing the dumbbell away, elbow coming towards your rib cage, other hand drive it away from the head. Not a huge fan of weight machines in the gym. 
They're just kind of wasted pieces of metal. Woo, time. All right, no dumbbell. We got that lunge pattern. All right, holding on to the handle. Lunge and back, pick a leg, bring the knee up, and then driving that leg behind you. Ready? Dead. Last 10 seconds, we're gonna add those hops. Can you pick it up a little bit? So last round of this, we're gonna move on after. Driving that knee up. If you're finding this too easy, pick the tempo up. Ready? Hop. 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 Sorry, not much warning there. All of a sudden it was last 10 seconds. It's like, shoot, we gotta hop. Knee up, drive it. One more, one more. Oh, yeah. Whew. All right. Other side. Get yourself set up. Stabilize. Don't sink into that hip. Stay lifted. Ready, set, go. Good, leg reaching back behind you, back knee coming down to your floor, then driving up towards the chest. Good, last 10 seconds, we're out of those hops. Get ready. Here we go, at the hop. Last few. Time. All right, we're moving on to two new exercises. We will need our dumbbell for this one. You're now gonna lengthen the TRX a little bit. You can take it out of single-handed mode. Lengthen it down. So your foot straps, remembering again, your foot straps are the bottom part of your D here, are ending about the knee. Dumbbell close. We're gonna do a one-legged squat to shoulder press, then we're gonna stay there and do a side lunge. Say what, PJ? <laughs> no worries. Dumbbell in your right hand, TRX in your left hand. I know, I'm not mirroring you. Okay, so you're the opposite of what I'm at. Take your left foot, place both feet into the TRX. Beautiful. And you are set up. From this position, what you're gonna do is keep the chest lifted so we're not collapsing in that abdomen area. You're gonna bring the dumbbell towards the ground and then up to the shoulder and press it up to shoulder height. 45 seconds. And then we're gonna stay here for a side out lunge before we do the other side. All right. Deal. Let's go. Ready? And begin. Squat. Dumbbell to the ground. Press up. Good. Do it again. Squat. When you do that squat, try to keep this left leg from going back. You're not turning this into a lunge pattern. It's just hanging in the TRX. Kind of dead weight. So now, once again, we're single leg drill. So last Round where a single arm drill. So now with single leg, we got a ton of core fired up as well. And now we get hip, glute, hamstring, quad fired up. And then with this pressing motion, bicep, shoulder, tricep. Good stuff. Finish the press, release. All right. Now we're going to twist our body so that with no dumbbell. So that we're now to the side of our TRX. We're driving the knee up and in. From here, we're doing a side out lunge, pressing the hips away and extending that leg away from you. So now we want this left leg to be active. This knee is still working. Or leg, I should say. Ooh. <laughs> you should be feeling this in the touch if you're doing it right. And that's a polite way of saying your ass. I also have a T 
TV show locally. <laughs> and I much prefer filming for my YouTube videos because I can swear. Yesterday we had to retake because I actually said the word crap. I wasn't allowed to say that either. <laughs> Time. Oh, sweet mother. Quick, other side now. Grab your dumbbell first. TRX in the hand. Foot up. And set up. I'm going to go to my side so you can see me a bit there. All right. Start with the squat. Now bring the dumbbell up to the shoulder and press up. Do it again. Squat. Press. Now this exercise will let you know right away what leg is more dominant, all right? You may find harder to balance on that non-dominant side. So stick with it. If you're really having a challenge, just get out of the TRX and do a one-legged squat. Or push, pause, go grab a chair so that you can hold on to that. <laughs> Small child, someone about four would fit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Turn in that foot around. Don't let that foot get lost in the TRX. We're going into side out lunge, no TRX. Start with the knee in, kind of across the body, knees on a bit of an angle. And now extend out, good. Knee in, extend out. I'm still hip hinging, just like we started with the squat, the warm up, that maintains through the entire workout. I don't know if you can hear it, but my ankle cracks, like you won't believe when I do this. I broke this ankle when I was a kid, so the tendons are super tight. And let's put it this way, you can hear me coming a mile away. I cannot sneak up on anyone. Now when the timer goes, we've got to quickly get to the other side for that one-legged squat and press for our final round. There we go, time. Dumbbell, hand, foot behind, balance, we're good. How'd you do? <laughs> And down. Remember, you've got that option of pushing pause anytime. Just don't push stop <laughs> or delete. I want you to hang out with me. In fact, after you've done the workout, comment below what, that, what you thought. I'd love to hear from you. Try to keep it somewhat nice. I don't get many mean comments, I'm lucky. I know some YouTubers and bloggers get some really nasty stuff. Remember, there's another person always on the end receiving whatever you're writing or saying. Going into side lunge, coming up. Let's finish that press, let's finish it. Good job, all right, here we go. No dumbbell. All right, get yourself set up. Start with that knee, again, it's in a bit of an angle. And you're kicking out and lunging side. Go. So I don't know if you know it. I launched a new website a few weeks ago. I'm super excited about it. I'd love for you to hop by. It's fitnesswithpj.com. <laughs> Guess I should tell you what the website address is. All right, when this timer goes, we go to our other side for the last round. If you feel your foot, time to get set up, but if you feel your foot on these motions, one-legged motion, that's totally normal, okay? All right, you're using a lot of that foot trying to grab onto the mat to balance you. In addition, if you're wearing and begin squat and press, if you're wearing shoes like Nike Freeze with very little low support, you're really firing up the muscles in your foot. So, wherever you are, I hope you got the music cranked while you do this. The only YouTube friendly music 
I can have access to is super cheesy. So I just choose not to put music on my videos. You can't just use any old music. YouTube doesn't like that, neither do the artists. Time, so no dumbbell. That's what I think of that dumbbell. Chuck. All right, side out lunge. Get yourself ready and set up. Whew. And let's go right here. Extend the leg, bend the knee, come back in. Beautiful. But I'm a huge fan of music while working out. All right, last 45 seconds here. We get a quick water break. And then we've got one more series of what we've been doing. And then I got a real fun ladder drill we're going to finish off with. Oh, yeah. Well, you know when a trainer says fun, it's going to hurt. <laughs> water. We're going to get into a plank position now. So I'll talk you through on how to get set up in a plank when you're on your own. Okay. So plank. This is my easiest way. TRX shows other really cool ways too. So check them out. And other trainers have really unique ways too. This is what I do. Doesn't mean it's the only way. I'm going to take my TRX and separate the handles. I'm going to position myself so I'm not quite underneath the target, but I'm centered to it. Now, leading with the right foot, I'm going to put it in my left foot hold. As I turn my body towards the empty TRX, I'm going to loop that foot in and then follow through onto a plank. How'd you do? <laughs> All right. Now, from this position, we're going to come up into the forearms, or probably onto the hands. Beginners, I want you to stay on the forearms, okay? This is a little bit harder. This is what the move looks like. You're gonna go into a plank. You're gonna bring side knees towards the elbow, back to center, and then open the legs. And then the other side. All right, 45 seconds on the clock. Ready, sit, go. Here we go, knees towards the outside elbow. Now open and close the legs. Knees to the other side, open and close the legs. Low and control. I do not have to tell you what muscle you're training. I hope you can feel your abs right away. When the timer goes, we've got to flip over and get our heels in the TRX super quick for some hamstring and glute work. Are those wrists still underneath your shoulders? Good. Yeah, sorry, I'm not talking much on this one. I'm focusing. 
Austin. So you can keep that bum up the same distance the entire time. It might be getting a little lower as we go. Oh yeah, very least. All right, I got one more exercise pattern to do before I let you go. So no timers needed on this one. Grab a sip, quick sip of water. We need to shorten up the TR TRX straps for a ladder drill. So we're gonna ladder two exercises where we start with 10 reps of the two and then the next round nine reps eight reps and ladder all the way down to that magical number one. This is what we call a workout finisher. What it does is it finishes up anything you got inside you <laughs> and makes you feel all spent and done at the end. All right, so you want to shorten your TRX a little shorter than normal. Show you the two moves. How's that? Why don't I do that? All right, so feet out wide, toes turned out. You're gonna drop down and go into a plyo squat. So notice I'm kind of leaning back and into it. When we've completed our 10, we're gonna walk forward and do 10 pull-ups for the back muscles, shoulders, and biceps. And don't get me wrong, core is fired up this entire time. So, need you to shorten up your straps. I like mine, okay, about waist height. If you're really strong on your pull-up pattern, you may want to go even a little higher up so you can go a little further under your TRX. Remembering, the further under your TRX on a pull-up, the harder it is. Okay, so lean back a bit, all right? Feet apart, toes are slightly turned out, bum is in. Now we're driving the hips, or letting the hips drop and now driving them up. Do it again, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, pull ups for ten. Walk yourself forward. Here we go. Pull. One, two. Keep those shoulders strong. Three, four. Elbows brushed by that rib cage. One more. Excellent. Hey, with this plyo squat too, I forgot to mention, if you don't want to jump, don't jump. Just drop the bum down and lift, come on all the way up, okay? All right, nine reps, you ready? Set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Whew. Walk forward, drive up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. All right, we're on eight now. Whew. Ready? I know, neither am I, but let's go anyways. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, 
Eight pull-ups, go. Eight. One more. Woo -wee. Okay. Seven. Lean into it. Bum coming down on an angle. Seven elbow. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Use your arms a bit. Six. Seven. Woo. My forearms are burning. Hey, I'm holding on to doing pull ups. Uh huh. Alright, seven pull ups. Go. One more. All right, six. Lean back into it, toes turned out, feet wide. Go, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, six pull-ups. Six, five, four, three, two, one, five, five, four, three, two, make it big, one, five pull-ups, five, four, three, one more, oh yeah, four, Four is no problem, right? Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Four pull ups. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Three. Ready? Let's do three. Go. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Three is awesome. Three pull ups, one, oh, two, three, oh, two squats, go, one, two, two pull ups, go, one, two, Whew. one of each, let's do it, one, oh that was a good one, right under, right under, one, oh shake it out. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of us. Give yourself a pat on the back. That was a good workout finisher, huh? All right, grab some water. We're gonna do a couple of stretches and then you can continue on with your day. Oh, how about we stretch the forearms, huh? That kind of hurt. All right, arms straight, fingertips down. I'm gonna move towards you because I got a real high tech camera set up. It's on a tripod and that's about it. Now rotate the thumb away from you. That's gonna give you a good forearm stretch. Catch your breath. If you need to walk it out while you're doing this because the heart's still going a mile a minute, go for it. Release. Other. Fingertips down, now rotate the thumb away from you. So I'm holding on to the part of the hand and a little bit of the fingers there. And I'm feeling a stretch right through the top of my forearm. It's actually a good stretch to do too if you're on a computer a lot, if you keyboard a lot, these muscles can get really tight and can essentially lead to carpal tunnel syndrome if you don't pay attention. Shake it out. Now fingers really wide in a prayer position, elbows out, and you're just going to pull the arms down until you feel the pads of your palms lift up a little bit to get a stretch under the forearms. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> this is awesome. And release. All right, grab onto your TRX. Feet are underneath the hips, and you're gonna keep them there while you let the TRX travel forward to stretch into your back muscles, uh, hamstrings, glutes even. Come back up. Now come right underneath the TRX somewhat. You're gonna do that same move, but this time lift the right arm up. And you're gonna look over that right shoulder. Back to center, other side. The arms are kind of creating a letter L, lengthening now my right side of my body. 
a little bit more. And release. Holding on to the TRX, bringing the heel up to the bum, stretching into the quad. Pull the knee back ever so slightly and then squeeze the bum forward. Release, other heel up. Squeeze the bum forward, gives a little bit more stretch. Beautiful. Take yourself down onto one knee for me. Ankle ahead of the knee. Lunge into it. Get my, my crap out of the way. Lunge into it. Feel that stretch in that hip flexor. And then whatever leg is behind, that arm reaches straight up and you're going to lean away. It's the better way of getting the stretch into that hip. Again, this is a fantastic stretch to do if you sit a lot in keyboard or even if you just sit a lot, period, in your job, if you drive, work customer service somewhere. These guys, hip flexors tend to be quite tight with excessive sitting and that can cause a lot of havoc to your low back. Now pull back, straighten this front leg, you may need to kick that heel forward, bring your chest forward to lengthen into the hamstring. Chest is lifted, try not to round, create a banana back, what I call banana back. All right, we're trying to keep spine to neutral. That keeps our vertebrae and our discs very happy. Banana backs, don't. They keep our chiropractors happy. Because <laughs> we gotta go for adjustments then. Release, other side. Come forward for me, lunge into it. Feel that hip stretch, really establish it, and then reach the back arm up and lean away. chest leading, no banana back, stretching into that hamstring. So if you enjoyed that TRX workout, I've got a couple of others on the old YouTube channel, but please comment below, let me know what you think, and don't forget to drop by that new website I've signed about, fitnesswithpj.com. I'd love to see you there, and I'd love to hear your comments. And release. But once again, thank you so much for spending time with me and working out with me. I truly appreciate your support. So until next workout, go forth and be fit. Ooh, baby, that was hard.